question expected in 30 seconds. Eight minutes, 22 seconds into the flight. About 30 seconds of powered flight remaining. Flight. A smooth ride uphill so far for Kim Rizikov and Zabritsky. And Favore, you may expect. Uh, Standing by for third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation. And uh, we have third stage shutdown. Third stage shutdown, spacecraft separation confirmed. Favore, how do you read us? This is Moscow. We read. And we have confirmation of solar ray deploy and navigational antenna deploy as planned. Johnny Kim, Sergey Rizhikov, Alexei Zabritsky on their way to the International Space Station. It is complete. Copy. Control again. Checkout was nominal. Copy. Поворот командир может приступать к работе телевизионной. Favorite may start working for page thirty-six. Was понял разовый контроль запущен работа с телевидением. We started the checkout. TV is on. Favor, ожидаем от вас первый замер по КГ. So uh, after a flawless countdown. An uneventful ride uphill for 8 minutes and 46 seconds for Johnny Kim of NASA and Roscosmos Cosmonauts, Sergei Rizhikov and Alexei Zubritsky. Third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation came right on time at the 8 minute 46 second mark into the flight, followed seconds later by solar ray deploy and the unfurling of the navigational antennas that will guide the Soyuz to what is expected to be an automated docking to the Prashal module on the Earth-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station at about 4.04 a.m. Central Time, 5.04 a.m. Eastern Time. Indicator mode. Reduce power. Принято. Favore, перейдите на Input 2 на формат ТВС. Favore, please go to Input 2 panel. And this view, uh, which is the same view as the crew is seeing on board uh, the descent module, showing the display panel that uh, Rizhikov, Kim, and Zabritsky are looking at. You see in the box on the left-hand side, this is basically the same overlaid video that you'll be seeing in more granular detail a few hours from now when we come back for our rendezvous and docking coverage. Transition complete. Favor, Favor. send Romeo 18, command, go to the backup transmitter, copying work. Ready, command to send, copy. With the ascent uh, having been completed, uh, placing uh, Kim Zubritsky and Rizhikov into their preliminary orbit, next up will be uh, the first 
in a series of delta velocity burns that is scheduled uh, about 21 minutes from now. This will be uh, a burn of about 24 meters per second to begin to increase uh, the Soyuz's altitude to match that of the International Space Station. At about 1.42 a.m. Central Time, we will move into what are called automated rendezvous operations. The Soyuz uh, will be guided uh, through a series of pre-programmed commands until it reaches the neighborhood of the International Space Station, at which point the CORE's automated rendezvous system will uh, guide the Soyuz in for a fly-around of the station that will precisely align the forward docking probe with the Prashal module on the Earth-facing side of the station. Once the fly-around is complete, the Soyuz will stop its motion, put the brakes on, if you will, for a few moments to allow the Russian flight controllers there in Karyov to measure the alignment of the Soyuz with Prishal before the command will be given uh, for final approach that will result in the docking of Soyuz to Prishal at about 4.04 a.m. Central Time, a little over three hours from now. We cannot copy you. Favor, ответите to Moscow. Favor, Moscow. Favor, Moscow, we cannot copy you. Favor, Moscow, we cannot copy you. So to recap, after uh, a flawless countdown, the Soyuz MS-27 atop the Soyuz 2.1A booster lifted off on time at 12.47 and 15 seconds a.m. Central Time, 1.47 and 15 seconds a.m. Eastern Time. Just give us parameter 17 from Form 3, page 37. With the uh, Soyuz having been uh, successfully placed into its preliminary orbit, the uh, crew will begin a series of uh, vehicle checkouts before the pre-programmed firings of the uh, Soyuz engine uh, will bring the Soyuz to its docking to the station a little over three hours from now. We will be back on the air with our rendezvous and docking coverage at 3.15 a.m. Central Time, 4.15 a.m. Eastern Time. Docking scheduled at approximately 4.04 a.m. Central, 5.04, 5.04 a.m. Eastern Time to uh, bring uh, Kim Rizhikov and Zabritsky to their new home in space. We'll take a break after docking. And then we'll be back on the air later this morning with our third broadcast in the overnight hours of Hatch Opening. That will begin at 6 a.m. Central Time, 6 a.m. Central Time, for a Hatch Opening at approximately 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time. Once again, a perfect ride to orbit for Johnny Kim of NASA and Roscosmos cosmonauts Sergei Rizhikov and Alexei Zabritsky, they are on their way on a two-orbit rendezvous to reach the International Space Station. We'll see you back here a little over two hours from now at 3.15 a.m. Central Time with rendezvous and docking coverage. For now, this is Mission Control Houston.